Hey guys, welcome again to my channel, AI with Kofi Andrew. In this video, we are going to install and use ControlNet. First, let's go over to the Extensions tab and next to the Install from URL sub-tab. First, I'm going to install the Civit AI Web UI plugin so that I can easily install a trained model. Then I will install the ControlNet plugin. Okay, so the Civit AI plugin is installed. Now I'll install the ControlNet plugin. So now once the control net plugin is installed, we'll go to the installed tab and restart the UI. By the way, how do you guys like the background music? I figured I would try adding some background music brought to us by our good friends at YouTube. Leave a comment if you're liking this change. I'm still experimenting, so let's see. So now we're going to download a control net safe tensors model from Hugging Face you may refer to the notes for the folder that it should be downloaded into. For this video, I'm using the Canny model. However, you may experiment with others to see which one would suit you best. Before we really get started, I'm going to download the realistic vision trained model from Civit AI. Now everything is set, so let's open the drop down menu for control net and enable it. So I'm choosing Canny as I stated before. So go ahead and choose your preprocessor. And don't forget to refresh the model list and simply choose the matching model. I suggest that you choose resize and fill for your resize mode. This will ensure that if your reference image is not the same size as your final image, you won't experience incorrect matching where your picture may look like it's cropped or something. So go ahead and add your reference image. I may need to adjust the control weight and you may need to do so as well depending on the result you're looking for. I'm going to set my control weight to 0.5. However, you might want to experiment with this though. So after you are done with your setup, go ahead and enter your prompt and hit generate. You should see your character in a similar pose to the reference image. Alright guys, I now have a picture that is close enough to what I was aiming for. So go ahead and try it out and please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. 